Thank you. Question back, back in the room here. Hi, thank you both for coming. I'm honored to be in your presence. Um, Dr. Paula, you had asked earlier um, some of the theories surrounding CCR5, and I thought one of those theories was that it was a genetic mutation that occurred during the bubonic plague epidemics that reached the Europe and parts of the Middle East, which is why people who carry the CCR5 genes usually come from European or some Middle Eastern countries. Am, am I, was I correct in that, or am I, I, am I, I, am I totally wrong? I think you are correct. Um, so as a European, <laughs> I'm, I'm very aware that any, anything that uh, is more prevalent in Europeans always get, gets blamed on the, you know, the poor bubonic plague. <laughs> I, feel, I feel really sorry for it. I mean, um, so for sure, people initially, you know, looked at the distribution of people who are CCR5 negative and said, hmm, bubonic plague, you know, the bubonic plague wiped out so many Europeans, it became what we call a genetic bottleneck. Mm -hmm. And the people who survived had, you know, quite different genetics from the general population beforehand. But I think scientists who, and I'm not smart enough to understand this, who, who look at what's called a molecular clock, who ask questions about, okay, here's this genetic mutation that makes people CCR5 negative. When did it occur in history? And they can kind of go back through time. And actually, it doesn't seem to be old enough to come from the time of the bubonic, bubonic plague. And instead, I think the most um, compelling evidence I've seen suggests that the factor that um, uh, promoted it was actually smallpox, which was a big problem in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. And this is probably to do with the fact that, again, remember this sort of day job that CCR5 has? It's on the surface of our immune cells. It does things like traffic them <coughs> to the gut. It's actually an important player in, in probably many aspects of just normal immune function. And it seems to be that maybe if you were infected with smallpox, terrible disease, um, but you didn't have CCR5, you were more likely or less likely to die. So there was that sort of selection for people, the level of smallpox. But it's kind of like weird to think about it, isn't it? That like one of the biggest viral scourges of humankind, smallpox, gave us a clue of, for one approach about how to treat another big viral scourge of humankind, HIV. So.